Oh, alrighty, folks. Ah, I got another fresh one for you guys today. It's an old classic by The Who. Uh, this is a song called Magic Bus. Now, um, obviously, uh, they do have a bunch of stuff going on here. Like, they got Jimby Sticks, and they got, you know, a bass player, and then they got a drummer and stuff. Excuse me, moi. But, um, I'm going to show you guys how to play Magic Bus in a way where you can entertain a whole campfire full of people just by yourself on the guitar, okay? So that's where this song is coming from. Now, uh, I guess I'll just show you guys basically everything that's going on. Uh, most of the song is just, uh, is just E to the D, okay? The actual chords are G and F, right? Because we've got a capo on the third fret, which means that if I play an E chord, you know, E is on the zero fret, and then F is on the 1, F sharp is on the 2, and then G is on the 3rd fret, okay? And so that's why that's a G chord, okay? We've got a G, and then just like the D chord is one note below the E chord, the F chord is one note below the G chord, and so this D on the 3rd fret is an F chord. And so we're going E, up, G, go to my F chord with the D shape, I've got my third finger on the, th the third fret after the capo uh, to do the suspended fourth chord, and then I'm releasing it to do the regular D shape chord. You know, they have like about eight lines of that, right? Uh, I don't want to cause no fuss to us, the magic bus, but can I buy your magic bus? Too much, the magic bus, and then they go, no. Okay, so as I said, they do eight lines on the verse, and then can I buy your magic bus? No! Now a lot of this extra stuff is just a lot of feeling. Right? You're gonna do a pick scrape all the way down to the bottom, and then you do a little you do a little thing like that so you can really hear um, the the lower notes, okay? Right? Okay, so what I'm doing there is after I'm doing my E chord. I'm gonna take my first finger and I'm gonna hit it on the second fret of the G string after the capo, right? You hit it and then you pull it off. Okay? And then you do the same thing with that E note. Right? Okay, so you do it once. And then you hit the third fret after the capo on the low E string. And that's what, you know, it gives it that. Okay, and then so this is the kind of rhythm that it, you know, the rhythm that the Who does is really kind of strange how they pull it all together. A lot of it is just them waiting for Pete Townsend. You know, they they would look at Pete Townsend and then he would give it a moment and then he would come back in. Right? So that's all. So they're all just waiting on the guitar player. You know, that's why it's a good song to play just by yourself on the guitar. So I'll show you guys that again, okay? Um, uh, but can I buy your magic bus? Alright, and then so after you do that, um, you're gonna go like this. Uh, sorry. What you're doing there is you use your pinky um, after hitting the low note. Okay, you hit the low notes, and then you hit two times on it. And then on the upward stroke, you want to hit, you want to focus that upward stroke on the higher strings. Okay, sorry, let me just check something. Yeah, so that's what you're doing when you're hitting those higher uh, on those higher strings, right? Okay, hit hit on the higher strings. Uh, then you accent, you kind of accent those higher strings, 
And when you're doing these notes, you want to only focus on basically these two strings. You can hit the third string if you, if you need to or you want to, but these are the strings that you're focusing on that for that little part. Okay, so I'm going open, then third fret on the E string and the B string, and then open on both. And then you hit uh, you hit the open strings three times. And then after you hit them three times, um, you're gonna hit um, uh, the second fret on both of those strings, right? Um, and then right after you go right back in your E chord, right? And then after you do that, you just kind of cool it. And then you come back in and really slow. Okay, so that's what I do. I think that's what Pete Townsend does because it's, it's dynamics, okay? In case anybody doesn't know what dynamics are, they are an incredibly key part of music that a lot of people do not usually take into consideration. This is dynamics and articulation. You know, dynamics and articulation are not just, you know, a thing for wind instruments. You can have articulation on the guitar and that's what I'm doing here is that you have a lot of parts where it's really loud and sweeping and it sweeps you away and then all of a sudden out of nowhere it's like a slow a low smooth sound right and that's what we're doing with this right well, it was all you know uh, can I buy your magic bus? right that's really heavy and then you know oh, oh, all of a sudden it's kind of softer right So after they do that for a little while, they come into this next part where it's kind of like ridiculous how the timing is, okay? This is the kind of thing where listen to the song and you will get the timing or just listen to me play it and you will get the timing, but I almost don't even know how to explain it, right? So after this whole thing, you know, you can have it, all right? And then he goes like this. Uh, it's like uh, it's like almost the same rhythm uh, as, um, you know, those old, you know, uh, the hand jive, uh, the Rolling Stones had a song. I don't care what's going to be. Anyway, that's not part of the song. I'm just trying to show you that's, you know, dun, 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 dun. but instead of continuing the song, they just cut it off there. Okay? So that's what we're trying to go for. I can have it. Okay, and instead of going to that A, you're going E, 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 G, and that's when they go, Dumpins and sixpence every day, just to drive to my baby, Dumpins and sixpence each day, and then that's when they go, so I drive my baby every day. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Uh, so as I said, it's kind of a weird rhythm. I'm going to go from the I want it thing so you guys can hear it and try to just, uh, I'll play it slow and then I'll when I play it through, I'll play it for you guys the real way because I want you guys to get the rhythm because it's, it's weird, but if you listen to the song and you listen to me play it, you'll get it. And six pence every day just to drive to my baby. Up 
rabbits and sixpence each day. Okay, so what I'm doing uh, for that part, dumpings and sixpence each day. Okay, I'm going E and then E suspended fourth. Okay, and basically what I'm doing is I'm putting my pinky on the second fret of the G string. Putting it on and taking it off, right? And then, cause you know, cause I drive my baby every day. That's when I come back in. keep kind of going on that sort of thing right so uh, once again this is one of those songs I've just shown you guys a whole bunch of puzzle pieces of jigsaw pieces now we're gonna put the whole puzzle together so you can know what the bigger picture looks like okay uh, and that's what I'm gonna do for you so this is Magic Bus by The Who <clears throat> Sixpence every day Just to drive to my baby Dumpence and sixpence each day Magic Bus by The Who, folks. A fucking energetic song, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you on the next one.